the kelly is drilled down. That is, the rig can drill no deeper without adding a joint of pipe. Here's the sequence to make a connection with a kelly and rotary table system. The driller picks up the kelly with the hoisting system and the floor crew sets the slips to suspend the drill string in the hole. Using large wrenches, called tongs, the crew loosens or breaks out the kelly from the drill string. They latch one set of tongs, called the backup tongs, around the drill pipe to keep the pipe from turning when they apply breakout torque with the second set of tongs, called the lead tongs. The driller actuates the breakout cat head, which is an automatic winch on the draw works. The breakout cat head pulls a line attached to the lead tongs and loosens the connection. With the connection loosened, the driller spins out the drill pipe from the kelly, usually by slowly turning the rotary table. The backup tongs latched onto the kelly's saver sub keep the kelly from turning as the pipe spins out. The crew then moves the kelly over to the new joint of pipe placed in the mouse hole, a lined opening in the rig floor that holds the joint to be added. They stab the kelly into the new joint. They latch the backup tongs around the tool joint of the pipe joint in the mouse hole. The backup tongs keep the joint from turning as the driller spins up the kelly into the joint using the kelly spinner. The kelly spinner is a pneumatic or hydraulic device mounted near the top of the kelly. To make up the kelly onto the drill pipe to final tightness, the crew latches the lead tongs around the kelly while holding the backup tongs on the pipe's tool joint box.